In today's video lecture, we are going to solve another problem of polynomials. The question is, find the zeros of the polynomial x squared minus 3 and verify the relationship between the zeros and the coefficients. So here, what is it asking me? It is asking me to find out the zeros of the polynomial and the equation is x squared minus 3 of the polynomial. And also we have to verify the relationship between zeros and coefficients. That is, there are two parts to this question. So first, for finding out the zeros of the polynomial, I need to see how I can uh, find out the zeros of this polynomial, p of x. Okay, I'll assume this polynomial p of x to be x squared minus 3. So whenever we want to find zeros of polynomial, we have to equate this equation to 0. So I'm equating this x squared minus 3 to 0. Now what can I observe? This equation is of the algebraic identity a square minus b square. a square minus b square that is a plus b into a minus b. So how can I write this x square minus 3 as x square minus root 3 whole square is equals to 0. Why am I writing this as x square minus root 3 whole square? Because we know that root 3 into root 3 is 3. Okay, similarly root 2 into root 2 is 2. Root 1 into root 1 is 1. Root 5 into root 5 is 5. Similarly as root 3 into root 3. That is root 3 or into root 3 can be written as root 3 whole square. Therefore, I am writing this x square minus 3 as x square minus root 3 whole square. Why am I writing this as x square minus root 3 whole square? Because I want to make this as a square minus b square. So, since I have written this 3 as root 3 whole square, this is of the form a square minus b square. Now, what is a square minus b square? a plus b into a minus b. So, from this identity, what is a? If I compare, a is x because you are comparing this to a square. As a square is x square, a will be x. And here as b square is root 3 whole square. What is b? Root 3. So x plus 3 into x minus 3 is equals to 0. This is a square minus b square and this is a plus b into a minus b. Now x plus 3 is also equal to 0 and this x minus 3 is also equal to 0. Now send this x plus 3, the, uh, plus 3 if it goes outside becomes minus 3. This is 1 x value and minus 3 if it goes outside becomes plus 3. So this is another value. So what did I get? My zeros in case of quadratic are known as alpha and beta. So one zero alpha is minus 3 and another zero beta is plus 3. Okay. What did I equate this? x plus 3 into x minus uh, like individually if x plus 3 into x minus 3 is 0 means x plus 3 is also equal to 0 and x minus 3 is also equal to 0. So these are my zeros minus 3 and plus 3. So in the question, it had asked me to find the zeros of the polynomial and also to verify the relationship between the zeros and coefficients. So I have found out zeros minus 3 and plus 3. Now I need to verify. So what is the procedure for verifying the relationship between zeros and coefficients? For verification of relationship between zeros and coefficients write the equation the equation is p of x is equals to x square minus 3 okay and uh, what I in order to com compare relationship in order to find relationship between zeros and polynomials, I need to compare this equation with a x square plus b x plus zero. So what I do here, I compare this x square minus three with a x square plus b x plus c, which is my standard form of quadratic polynomial. Why am I comparing this with this? Because I know here degrees two, so this is also quadratic polynomial. So I'm comparing this with this. But what do I observe in x square minus 3? I have x square term, I have constant, that is I have number, that is I have x square term and I have constant. But do I have my x term? No, I don't have x term. So I need to add x term here. How can I add x term in x square minus 3? We know that 0 multiplied by anything is 0. So I can write in place of 
as x term is not there, I can write it as 0 into x, like this. So, rewriting x square minus 3, I want this to be written as a, x square plus bx plus c. So, ax square is x square, now I want x term. So, I can write this as plus 0 into x. Why? Because 0 into anything is 0. So, even if I write or I don't write, it is same. Now, ax square plus bx plus c. So, what is my identity for verification of zeros? Alpha plus beta is minus b by a and other identities alpha into beta is equals to c by a. These two are the formulas that, is, that shows the relationship between zeros and coefficients. These are my zeros, these are my coefficients. Similarly, this is product of zeros and these are my coefficients. And how to get a, b, c? Now from this equation, what is a? a is 1, b is 0 and c is minus 3. Substitute these values of a, b, c here. So what is alpha I got? Minus root 3 plus what is beta I got? Plus root 3 is equals to minus is there in the formula. Minus root 3 plus alpha is minus root 3. Beta is plus root 3 is equals to minus. What is b here? b is 0 and what is a? 1. 1 is minus and 1 is plus. In order to, when both the signs are opposite, I know they both will get cancelled. So, what is the answer? 0. So, 0 is equals to 0. These both are made equal. Now, in case of alpha into beta, what is alpha? Minus root 3 into what is beta? Plus root 3 is equal to c by a. What is c? Minus 3 by a is 1. Now, I said root 3 into root 3 is 3 and here I have minus. So, minus into plus is minus. Minus 3 is equals to minus 3. So, here also have LHS is equals to RHS and here also have LHS is equals to RHS. Hence, my relationship is verified. Hope you have understood this video. If you have any doubts, you can comment below. Please subscribe if you haven't and share the video with your friends.